Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Doris. I'm here to share with you about my stock account updates and today's market. Today is Sunday in the U.S., which means that there is no market um, trading's happening in the U.S. stock market. And right now we're going to be recapping the performance of the U.S. stocks over the last week and how it has been crumbling that the Fed is can be able to become the savior. Um, in total, last week it has reduced their holdings to two point six nine billion dollars, the sixth consecutive week of net selling. The turmoil in the U.S. stocks continues since October, with mixed results in um, each tech stocks with that disappointed investors, and also uh, keep recording. Uh, the U.S. Treasury 10-year Treasury yields kept making record highs on the yield, and the the disappointing performance of um inflation rate and the VIX index has reached its highest level since March. With the Fed's rate-setting meeting coming soon, future policy paths could clues could be the key to easing market anxiety. So. We can examine how the Fed is evaluating the current economy right now. Data from the last week shows that the U.S. economy still shows a strong resilience. In the third quarter, the U.S. GDP grew by 4.9 percent annually from the previous quarter, the fast growth, the fastest growth rate in nearly two years. Consumer spending, the main engine of the U.S. economic growth, grew up 4% from July to September, and the tightening labor market is expected to continue to support the steady expansion of the quarter. Meanwhile, the PCE, the Consumer um, Expenditure Index, um, personal personal consuming expenditure index has fell to um. For 3.7% in September, the lowest level since June 2021. Economists predict that the strong growth in the third quarter is not surprising because the recent monthly data shows that the uh, rise in the consumer spending is the main growth of the U.S. economy, and the Fed, although the Fed may hold it in November, but it's but the economy is far above the trend line growth and will make the Fed to remain alert to inflation. However, the U.S. economic outlook is not without its um, own concern. Consumer confidence fell, fell sharply in October due to geopolitical uncertainty and the weak stock market. Inflation expectations also rose, with respondents expecting an average inflation over the next 12 months and 5 years at 4.3% and 3%, compared with 3.2% and 2.8% in September. This is due to the high interest rate, um, high, high treasury yields that has been um, drawing up the cost of living from mortgages to um, daily um, spendings. The real question is now whether this trend will continue in the next few quarters, or we don't think so. It is too early to judge for the rest of the year, but the lag in the monetary policy could eventually slow the momentum. At the same time, um, one thing to alert is that people have been running out of the pandemic um, stimulus spending that they've been receiving from the government with the new speaker of the house that's going to who's going to um, make adjustments to the budget um, that the federal government is going to um, tighten is probably likely more likely to tighten the government spending on u.s consumers that may reimburse their spendings as well the mid -term, medium and long-term treasury yields have retreated um the two year yields rose uh, decreased to five point zero one percent and the benchmark ten year yield to eight point four point eight five percent. Bill Ackman said that um it has on gone out um short positions in thirty year notes because the economy is slowing faster than recent data suggest. And federal funds futures show that the chances of a rate hike falling to 23% this year. 
And also, the Fed has faced the most serious challenge to meet its inflation target. And as financial conditions and policy positions remain tight, the risk of a policy mistakes is increasing and could plunge the economy into a slight recession. He said. The Fed, um, the Fed, according to this economist's view, the Fed may keep um the interest rate unchanged. That allow um it to have more opportunities to examine the performance of the U.S. economy, and uh, um showing reflections and waiting for the reflections of the monetary policy of the high interest rate that has been rising for the past few years. This is all I have for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next episode.